Hi, this is Sean from FortisFitness.ca with a quick overview and demonstration of the calf glute ham raise. So this is a great apparatus. It basically does every muscle in the back of you. It's not a great machine to use or jump onto if you're new to the gym or if you've had a long layoff because there's a lot of strain on your hamstrings and you can strain or, or pull a hamstring muscle pretty easily. Jamie's going to demonstrate real quick. So when she's pretty much parallel to the floor and she goes up, it's really working the calves, the hamstrings, and the glutes, especially when you're up to, up to perpendicular. But when she goes all the way down, you're also working the back, much like a back extension. What's really important with this exercise, as soon as you get to the parallel point, that from the inside of the knee to your head, you're absolutely straight, straight as a board. Perfect. Thank you, Jamie. <laughs> Okay, there are two ways to adjust the calf glute ham raise. You take the foot holder up or down, and you can take it forward, back closer to the main pad. So these adjustments are obviously going to accommodate different limb lengths, upper leg and lower leg. But what's more important here is knowing that that'll also um, change the difficulty of the exercise. So if I go a little lower, it's going to make the exercise a little bit easier than having it up here and even more so the foot plate to the main pad. If I'm further back, the exercise is going to be far easier. It gets exponentially more difficult as I come closer and closer. So when you start, we want to have this, this uh, foot attachment, the, the, the foot plate back, comfortably back so it's relatively easy to do a couple of reps. It doesn't matter. You don't have to have your knee right into the pad. You can have your upper thigh, upper leg. Uh, into the pad and still do this exercise effectively. Okay, so once we set the distance from the foot plate to the main pad on the calf glute ham raise, there's lots of ways to increase the resistance from there. So one of the easiest ways is with a band. Put the band into the holder, around her neck, she's just coming up, gets a little easier on the top. Another way is just to grab a dumbbell. Some people like to use a, a plate, just hold a plate over their chest. Great, and the position of the added resistance as well, so if she holds it over her head, it, it becomes a lot harder. Great, thanks Jamie. So you can also increase, simply increase the number of repetitions you're doing with any of these methods, or you can use a combination of these methods. You can use a band and a plate, etc. So when you've exhausted a lot of these methods uh, for increasing the resistance on this machine, then it's a good idea to perhaps move the plate a little closer to the main pad, which will exponentially increase the difficulty um, for doing this exercise. People exhibit bad form with the calf glute ham raise in two major ways. The first one is bending at the hip. You see this a lot. People come up, oh, and they bend at the hip, and that takes all the tension off the hamstrings which is why we're doing the exercise in the first place. And the second one is sort of the opposite. It's hyperextending the back. Ooh, that doesn't look good. Okay, so you want to avoid both of those errors. Back to good form. Straight as a board, as soon as she's parallel from the head right to the inside of the knee. Perfect. So try and avoid those two common errors. Thank you, Jamie. Thanks for visiting us at fortisfitness.ca.